So you are running an online store where you want your customers to be able to upload files on the product page to be sent to you. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add file upload field on the product page of your WooCommerce store. An example of an online store that may require file upload on the product page is a print-on-demand shop. So, if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is the website where I want my customers to be able to upload files on the product page. Before we get started, let me show you what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. So if I go ahead and open any of the products, right here you see that I have a browse field. I just go ahead and click on it and I can choose any image I want to upload. Then I go ahead and add the product to the cart. Next, I go over to checkout. Going down, I click on next. Scrolling down, I have the file I just uploaded right here. Then I go ahead and place the order. The order is being placed. Now, if I go to the back end of my website, then I go over to WooCommerce, click on orders. I have the new order right here on top. I open it up. And in here, I have my file. I can easily go ahead and click on it. And from here, I can go ahead and save it. With this, your customers will be able to upload a single file to be sent to you. By the end of this tutorial, I will show you how your customers can be able to upload multiple files to be sent to you. We can go back. So to be able to add file upload field on the product page of our WooCommerce store, we need to install a plugin. And this is the plugin we are going to install, File Uploads Add-on for WooCommerce by Imaginate Solutions. I will leave link to this plugin in the description down below. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the name of the plugin. I exit out of here. Next, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Under set plugins, I go ahead and paste in the name of the plugin. And this is the plugin. I go ahead and install. It is installed. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. And you see it right here. Now, if we go to the sidebar menu, down here you see add on upload settings. Let's go ahead and click on it. In here, you only have some two settings to do. The first one is to enable the add on uploads, and the next is product categories. So from here, you have the opportunity to select the particular product categories for which you want to allow the file upload. So if I click in here, I'll see all the product categories I have on my shop. I can easily go ahead and click on them to add them up. If this is what you want, this is how you are going to go by it. For now, I don't want to limit it to some particular categories. So I take them off. And that's it about all the settings. I click on save changes. Now, if I go over to the shop page, then I go ahead and open up a particular product. You see that I have file upload field right here where I can browse to get my file. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. Alright, let's continue. So let's go ahead and test it out. So I go ahead and click on browse. Let's assume this is the image I want to upload. I select it, then I click on open. Then I go ahead and add my product to the cart. Let's view the cart. And you see the little image right here. That is the file we just uploaded. Now we proceed to check out. On my checkout page, you see that I have a multi-step checkout. I have billing and shipping as step one, and then order and payment as step two. If you want to learn how to add a multi-step checkout to your WooCommerce store, I have a video link in the description down below that will take you through step by step as to how you can achieve that. I'll also link it at the card above. 
As you can see, I've already filled in my billing details. So I scroll down and click on next and it will take me to step two. Going down right here, we also have the file we've uploaded. Scrolling down, I click on place order. Thank you, your order has been received. So as an administrator, if you go to the back end of your website, then you hover on WooCommerce orders. On top here, you see that particular order. Let's go ahead and click on it. And right here, we have the file that was uploaded. So to download it, all what you need to do is go ahead and click on it. Then right click. Then you go ahead and save image as. You give a name to it, then you click on save. And it will be saved onto your computer. Perfect. So this is how you can add a single file on the product page. Now let me show you how you can add multiple files on your product page. So I go back, then I go over to the shop page. I choose any of the products. In here, upon uploading your first image, it will be very difficult for you to add another one. So what you need to do if you want to add multiple files is that you need to convert all the files you want to add as a zip file. From there, you can go ahead and upload the entire zip file. So let me demonstrate that. I click on Browse. In the File Upload dialog box, right here you see that we have image files. So you are only limited to uploading images. So if you want to be able to upload a zip file, what you need to do is go ahead and drop down the arrow here. Then you choose All Files. Now, if you have a zip file, you'll be able to search for it and upload. I have one zip file right here. I'll just select it and I'll go ahead and click on open. And you see that it is being attached. I click on add to cart. Let's go ahead and check out. Going down, I click on next. You see that I have my zip file right here. I go ahead and click on order. And now the order is placed. Let's go ahead and check up how the zip file will come up. So I go to the back end of my website. Then I hover on WooCommerce, click on orders. And that is the first one I have on top right here. I open it up. And you see that right here we have the uploaded zip file. To download it, you just go ahead and click on it, and the download would start right here. Perfect. So that is the simple hack you can use in order to upload multiple files. So that's it on how to add a file upload field on the product page of your WooCommerce store. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one. Now if you want to learn how to add a file upload field during checkout, make sure you watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I will see you inside that video.